The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey Native for every single week. Lady to use power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you need on digikey.com. If you were in certain parts of the world, you might have been searching for a flashlight because there was a giant power outage, but maybe you want to have something to avoid ever being without power. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? Um, what are you looking for this week? Yes. Yeah, so this week I'm working on a new design for a little solar add-on board oh. for my analogger, and I was just kind of crafting it live on um, yeah. Escalade so people can see how much I copy and paste when I design. Um, but if I've got two working designs, why not merge them, right? So yeah. you're copying and pasting from yourself, so you should it's be, fine. Yeah. So I've got uh, you know a DC power input going into a diode, and then what I wanted to do is add um, a voltage current monitor for the solar panel. And I was like, all ready to be like, okay, let's route this board. This is going to be great. And then I realized, oh, you know what? I actually really want is something to also monitor the battery because I feel like if you're monitoring the solar panel and the current, I also want to see what the voltage is on the battery. And um, some of our feathers have battery monitoring built in, but a lot don't. Um, and this one doesn't, especially. I couldn't fit it on. So um, what I thought I would do is I would um, look on DigiKey for a um, a chip like the one I'm using here, the INA219, except instead of being a single channel, it would be a, a dual channel. And I would compare that to the cost of having two INA219s. Surprisingly, sometimes it's cheaper just to have two of like the same chip if you want like a dual channel, but you know, it'd be kind of cool if it was, if like maybe there's just magically one that's only like a little bit more expensive, can have two inputs and then I can monitor the battery as well as um, the solar panel at the same time. So let's go to DigiKey. And so what's interesting is I, I was, what I usually do is I actually start with a chip I've got and then I'm like, find out what the category is and then I look in the category for more chips. So in this case, um, what's interesting is it had a couple different categories, like, oh, sorry, this is the INA2191, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking, which is, which is annoying. They should, don't have parts have sub parts names. Okay. This is the, uh, area where I found the 219. So, you know, the INA219, we've had this for like an, over a decade. It's one of our first breakout boards. It's a great little current monitor. Um, fairly inexpensive. It's under a dollar at high quantity. So I think, you know, and they definitely want high side. So let's look. Current They're not really, this is the thing that it's not really current regulation management. Um, so, you know, the thing is it kind of gets thrown in with like a lot of, like a lot of different monitor chips. Another thing that was a little frustrating is that a lot of these, like this 168, which I've used, or the 169, um, is a analog input only. And I definitely wanted to be I squared C. And then I was like, oh, well, what if like the 225 is um, a dual channel? Because like it has two in it. But this is also a single channel. And in fact, this is an analog output as well. So yeah, so I was like, uh-oh, this is, you know, sometimes the DigiKey search is like perfect and has everything you need. But in, in this particular case, um, it didn't actually have a way to filter out the components. And um, you're not abandoned, right? So, you know, don't freak out. Um, there's still a solution. So what I do in this case, and, and this is it, particularly in the case of when you have a sensor or chip where you want something similar or like in the same family, what I always tell people to do is like, well, go to the product page at the company that makes it, whether it's like Renesas, TI, Analog, Maxim, National Semi, or any other non-existent company. And um, often they'll be like, okay, there's similar devices. And also they usually have their own search. Now, obviously, so they have two. There's ones with integrated shunt, ones without. Um, we can search for, for both. But let's do the ones without, because usually those are a little less expensive. So what we can do, there's a lot of like, okay, you can search for like different bit depths and automotive and precision. I don't actually care too much about precision. So in this case, I'm going to say show all. 
And then what's nice is I already know that these are all voltage monitors and you can search by number of channels. So I can have this filter. In this case, there's no option for th two. They just don't have a two, but I'm going to select three and four. And in this case, there's a couple options. They do have this thing called the price per quantity. I'll always warn people that check the DigiKey price. This price is often a little, it's, it's not always correct. Sometimes it's fantastical. Um, it's, it doesn't always reflect reality. But in this case, it's like, okay, you know, the INA 3221, which I've actually used before. And it's like, you know, they're saying it's about, a, you know, a dollar uh, 30. So if I go back to DigiKey and I just check, you know, make sure that they have it in stock. And it looks like they do. I'm just going to select the active because they have a couple versions. And yeah, like I said, it's that dollar 30 is a little optimistic, but um, it is like a you know a dollar 80, which is which is about the same price as two of those INA 219s. So I'm not 100 percent sure I'm gonna go with this, but let's also while we're here, let's look at these um, the power monitors with the integrated shunt resistor. Because you never know, sometimes they have something here. So let's search. And again, let's um, go over to resolution bits. Do they have channels? You know, I actually didn't actually check this. I don't believe they have any. I think they're all single channel. Yeah, there are, these are all single channel boards. So they don't have any dual channels. That's what it is. So this is kind of my option. Not sure yet. On one hand, you know, um, altogether, look, you have to pay for the cost of picking a component. Um, you know, this part is a little bit expensive. It'll add a couple bucks, but I think it's worth it for people who want to be able to monitor both the solar panel input and um, the voltage. What I might do is I might make a version of the board that has the monitoring and one without it to be like, look, if you just want like the diode and the connectors and that's it without the monitoring, cool. If you do want the monitoring, it'll probably be under $5. And I think most people will want it, but if you really want to have the lowest cost version, um, it'll probably be only a couple bucks. So this is what I found for more than two channels, sorry, two channels or more of voltage and current monitoring for my solar board. That's a great search. Where 